Good day, YouTubers. Merry Christmas. Here we have the, uh, I just want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. I want to thank all of you for being a part of my channel uh, and riding through the YouTube storms with me. Here we have the Magi uh, coming to uh, the birth of Jesus following the star, The and they believe that it's it was the conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter, uh, which just happened again. It happens very infrequently, and it can look like a huge star in the sky. But the Magi, uh, they traveled from a far land, and you know everybody's getting locked down again. There's a new super strain of the Wu flu. Uh, let's hope everything opens up again, and I wish you all a Merry Christmas. We do have a Christmas gift from the Sussexes, from Meghan and Harry. They sent out their Christmas card. We got the two dogs. This is Guy. I forget this dog's name. And look at how big Archie is. He's right in the center. Look at how much hair he has. I just did a reading on this. I don't believe they have Archie. Megan will do anything to keep up the appearance that they're a happy family and that Archie is there. This has to be wearing on Harry. Megan just showed up. It was 80 degrees in Beverly Hills, and Megan was wearing a big coat, and that sure looks to me like a baby bump. Uh, so they're looking. There's She is suggesting that she's going to have another baby. Kate and William were just out. Kate Middleton and Prince William break the UK lockdown rules, and here's a photo of it. They went to this. Uh, it was... Uh, it was a nearby place. Uh, it was a light show, a Christmas light show, and it they came pre-opening, but there were more than six of them, uh, and they were wearing no masks. Captain Obvious here says that Will and Kate are not afraid of this Wu flu virus. They're not afraid that their children are going to get it. There was more than six of them. Goodness. They're locking the whole world down again. You're not even allowed to visit your family for Christmas. They shut down the trains, and yet, you know, rules for thee and not for me. You know, the people in charge, they don't follow the rules, and they don't seem concerned about the Wu flu or this special new strain. Let's take a look at these things. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. Merry Christmas. We have the Sussexes. Christmas card. I finally got a decent print off this, uh, and I haven't changed the ink, and it's that cheap ink because it's not anywhere near done. But I got some colors, and the print looks okay. Uh, so it's not sepia, it's not black and white. They went straight to cartoon. Okay, and we remember last year's, this was photoshopped. Megan has changed her teeth out, you know, so photoshopped, and they so photoshopped that they took it down. So that is a wonderful gift from the Sussexes. Uh, I've been waiting with bated breath for that card. Let's take a look at some of these things. Let's look at Megan's pregnancy because she's obviously showing, you know, signaling a pregnancy. Let's look around this. And what I want to know is, is she, is she carrying this child? Because I... I did see in the cards that it's possible for her to carry a child. She's very determined. Okay, she, one of the reasons she has achieved such a high position in life is because she really throws herself into whatever she's doing. Uh, and I think that's kind of a pattern of a narcissist. She doesn't really have a solid sense of who she is. And so she, it's very easy for her to adopt uh, whatever she's really after at the time. And I think she convinced Harry that she would be the perfect uh, duchess, the perfect, you know, princess. Uh, and she really threw herself into it and really mirrored to Harry whatever, you know, exactly back whatever he was doing, you know, with his casual clothing and his rebellion. She just mirrored it all back. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. And then uh, that, that's a more complicated topic. But then they start rejecting and gaslighting and and wow, that image has really gotten twisted. So 
is Megan carrying this baby? Let's look around this pregnancy. Let's look at this pregnancy. Let's see what we've got going on. Megan's pregnancy. Because I, I actually think she may be so determined to actually carry this baby herself because of the, just the nonsense that went on the last time. Changing bump size and sometimes it was small, sometimes it wasn't there, sometimes it was huge, sometimes it was down at her ankles. I mean, it was, what a mess. So what's going on with this pregnancy? Olive tree, building the family, scourge, hard work, working at it. And solid cornerstone. Six clubs and four diamonds. These are very good cards uh, for pregnancy and family. Working, really, really working at it. Really, really trying. Nine and four, 13. Four hearts, home. Another family card. Structure, four diamonds, four hearts. She's trying to build the structure. And I think that Megan is really trying to hang on to Harry. Uh, and another baby, really, it's another anchor baby, and it's going to be a girl, and she's going to call her Diana. Okay, that's what I think is going to happen. Heart, diamond ring, connection, marriage, the marriage is on her mind. Uh, this is what she needs to do right now. This is an opportunity. Not, she's very calculated, but she's also very reactive and does things just... Uh, you know, Kate does this, Megan does exactly the same thing. The royal family does Zoom calls, they immediately start doing Zoom calls. It's that kind of thing. Uh, just this needs to happen now. Uh, okay, so snake can be medical or and internal, the internal plumbing, finger of God. Outside, planted in the plumbing, very... so kind of sort of weird pregnancy cards a doctor implanting the baby medically strength and cornucopia very you know just solidifying her entire world solidifying making her position in her world stronger 19 23 30 42 Jack of Diamonds, making a play. Well, I kind of wanted to see, so implanted by a doctor, I wanted to see if she's carrying it. I don't see, there's only one queen here, I don't see a surrogate. Uh, let's just ask directly, you know, is she carrying it? That looks to me, this looks to me like she's really... She may be carrying it, uh, which, you know, she's quite old now. I know all you women's libbers want to say, I can have a baby until I'm 90. Okay, I'd like to see that, but okay. I mean, I can have a baby until I'm 90, but I'm not a woman. So, is Megan carrying this? And Megan has all kinds of complications. She never wanted a baby. She's had some abortions. Uh... All kinds of stuff. She didn't want a baby, and she really waited a really long time to get that, you know, all that internal plumbing working. So, uh, and she, I believe she has a daughter that she's completely disowned and ignored. So, is Marion, is Megan carrying the baby? Is Megan carrying the baby? Is Megan carrying this baby? Two spades? No. Not connected. The inheritance in the world, sourcing from the world, connected to the family. No, she's not carrying this baby. Slim. Uh, Hightower is very tall and slim and slender. Mustard seed. Uh, me medical or slender. And many people involved. So this is 16, four spades. This is, an, four spades is definitely no. Dead womb and not carrying this baby. She's definitely not carrying this baby. 
uh, there are many people involved, doctors and such, and and this is also a business card, sourcing it from many people. No, it's another surrogate situation. Definitely another surrogate situation. Ms. Harry, let's look at Megan and Harry with regard to another child because she's very clearly signaling another child. Let's look at Megan and Harry, you know, because uh, uh, another YouTuber who is not a Royals watcher, but he's a relationship expert. He looks at Harry and he says, Harry's either going to divorce Megan in one year or he's going to commit suicide because... It's such a terrible life for him. So I want to look at Megan and Harry separately. Does Harry want this baby? I think Megan, this shows Megan is just making her position stronger. What does that have to do with Harry? She's hanging on to Harry, but that's all about Megan. Megan, I want to look at the two sides separately. Harry, devil. Oh, dear. What an interesting spread. On Harry's side, he's got the devil, but let's look up here. Having another baby, uh, conceiving another baby is the worst possible thing. It's a disaster. Harry doesn't want this child. Uh, the future is... The, the future is divorce. A divorce is coming. Scapegoat. He wants to leave the marriage. The future is he's he's leaving the marriage. Uh, devil and coffin. He he wants to end it. Uh, everything has changed for him, and he wants to end the marriage. Twelve, twenty three. Okay, so March is coming up. The one year review, and Harry's lost everything. He's losing everything. Before March comes, he can still say no, no, no. I want to come back. And there's a couple of ways he can do that. He can just simply go back quietly to England and they are living separately and then later the divorce will come through okay and we won't hear about it and he'll just make his internal uh deals with the queen you know and the royal family uh I, I think Harry is finally coming to his senses this is a disaster he wants out of the marriage and another ending it's the situation is going to transform he is Devil is very angry. Devil will do anything. Devil can also be malicious. Devil can also be addicted. Uh, I think Harry wants out. I think Harry is finally waking up to what a terrible situation he's put himself into. And everything Megan does is only to benefit Megan and never to benefit Harry and not to benefit Archie or any other child or any... Uh, any charity that they do, everything Megan does is just to benefit Megan. What's over here on Megan's side? She's looking at the long term. Long term family is what benefits her, but and and this, the the relationship is bad, really bad. I mean, it can't get worse than the devil. And he wants to end it. He may already be gone. Uh, Harry may already, I he may already have kind of left. I. You know, four spades, he may have already left. But she's looking at the long term, five spades. She's looking at uh, the, the relationship is bad. She's just creating another tie to him. So, yeah, this is, Harry hates this. And that's why I looked at this. Harry is really against having another child. This is a disaster. And it's pushing him further away. The, you know, her forcing this issue is pushing him further uh, away from her. Okay, so I wanted to look at the woo flu uh, with Kate and w and William and the kids. And the kids don't, are not wearing any masks. They're out in public. They're in a group of larger than six. Uh, are Kate and William uh, concerned about the woo flu? Because they sure don't look like it. Okay, and we have these top doctors going and meeting with family in restaurants and not wearing masks. We have Nancy Pelosi going to the hairdresser. All the hairdressers were closed, but Nancy Pelosi's at the hairdresser and she's not wearing a mask. Okay, the people who are screaming that you need to lock down are not locking down. Okay, and you have that lady in Chicago, the... Uh, uh, the Chicago mayor, she went to the hairdresser. 
Uh, and I don't think that's going to improve her appearance. I don't know if you've seen the the, the Chicago mayor. She's, a, yeah. She looks like a Tolkien char character. Are they concerned at all? Karmic relationship, yes. Let's see. 1522, six diamonds, all the people. The key is the family. And seven spades. Hmm. Well, none of these are illness cards. What do we have here? Mother Earth, straight razor, and lovers. Uh, the situation is fine for, you know, they've made a decision that they're just not worried about it. They're, they've made a decision that everything is fine. The situation is fine. And this is about family. I don't know what that seven spades is. I guess there's some possibility that they could catch it again. Uh, that they, But, you know, the, the mortality rates are incredibly low. And, and, and you haven't heard anything about the flu. This is flu season. You don't hear anything about the flu. No, no talking about the flu. How many of those... How many of those people are flu? How much of this is the flu? Okay, it's uh, really strange. So I don't think they're concerned at all. Let's let's review. Is Megan? Uh, what's going on with this baby? This outside doctor intervention uh, helping her. This. This is solidifying, this is solidifying Megan's position. Money, four diamonds, money, marriage, money, money. Uh, she just sees that this benefits her and makes, makes her situation more and more solid. And so she's having another baby. So, and, and so then I asked, is she carrying the baby? No, she's definitely not carrying this baby. I think she's not capable of carrying this baby. They're sourcing the baby. So we're going to get a lot of bump nonsense going on like we did the last time, but hopefully less because it was such a PR disaster for her to walk around with the fake uh, bump. Uh, I doubt that they're going to be honest and tell us that it's another surrogate child. What's going on between Megan and Harry? Harry may be gone. I mean, he nothing is worse than the devil, and we have the coffin. Uh, he's just had enough. So, and water into wine can be transformation. This is a disaster. He does not want this child because the relationship is bad, and he wants out. of. He either wants out of the relationship, or he's already out. Either he, he's ready to leave, or he's already leaving okay and megan the relationship is very bad but she's looking at the long-term family this benefits her and kate and megan uh, kate and william they don't seem concerned about the woo flu at all so yeah that, interesting that's quite a gift uh, you know that's a nice christmas gift for us that they gave us this card and i'm glad my printer finally printed something well <laughs> so Merry Christmas, all. Thanks. Uh, I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling. Uh, find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the very generous folks who support me and bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.